Ah, hey gang, Redbeard here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple elevator, and at the end I'll invite you to the room and you'll be able to check out a more advanced elevator. Alright, let's go! Alright gang, we're going to build our elevator over here. I've gone ahead and created a carriage. First thing we need to do is get out some circuits, and the way to do that is with your maker pen. All you do is open your watch. And then hit backpack, hit use on your pen, and there you go. Next thing you need to do is open your palette, and the way you do that is to look at the top of your pen. So we look at the pen, hit open palette, and then we've got our palette. Easy peasy. Okay, once you have your palette out, you'll need to go to gadgets, gizmos, and grab yourself a piston. Okay, next thing you need to do is go to gadgets, other chips, second page, and get a state machine. And then we need four states. So we'll go state and we'll make four of these. Okay, next thing you're going to need is an OR chip. So we go to math chips and you're going to take AND, put it right there. And then on the back of your pen, you hit configure, click on AND, and then on your palette, you just switch it to OR. Okay, now that all of our circuits are out ready to go, we need three buttons. And I'm going to show you a cool trick to do with buttons. First thing you need is a table. And you can do that in your pen by going to props, furniture, second page, table. And we're going to stick one right here in front of us. Okay, with your table out, let's get those buttons. To get a button, go to props, dynamic props, button. Now if you noticed it fell down, that means buttons have gravity. So now what we need, a temporary to fix, let's go to gadgets, gizmos, pick any one of these, we'll do the look at. Now I like these to line up, so we're going to go ahead and just move that there. And then if you wire from the button to the gizmo, we can delete the table and the button doesn't fall down. So now what we want to do is take our pen and hit select, choose the gizmo and choose the button and then hit clone and we can make three of these buttons. All right, so now we have our buttons. Okay, now with all of our chips out and our gizmo and all of our buttons, we can start to configure things. First thing we're going to do is wire the state machine together and then we'll put all the settings in there. To do that, take out your maker pen and then look at the top of it. I'm going to take wire. What you need to do is wire the state machine to the first state and then you can see it's on because it turned white. And then we're going to wire it to the next one. It turns white because it's on. And then if we continue around, we'll create a nice little loop and you can see it going around in circles. Okay, let's wire up the gizmo and we're gonna see it start to move as soon as we configure the states. So to do that, you take your wire tool and you're gonna take the red pin from the state machine into the red pin on the gizmo and then the green pin to the green pin. The way state machines work is whatever is configured as a value in the state gets pushed up into the machine and then those wires go over to the object. So we're going to use the red wire, or value 1, to turn it on. And to do that, simply look at your pen, hit configure, click on your first one, pull up your palette, and value 1 comes out the red pin, so we're going to set that to 1, and that'll turn it on. For value 2, we're going to set this to negative 60, because that is the down state. So now you can see the first state is set to down, its value 1 is set to 1, which gets pushed up to the red pin, and its value 2 is set to negative 60, which means to come down. It's already down, so it's just going to sit there. Now we'll go ahead and configure the rest of those, and I'll show you those numbers as well. So again, configure, this is the down weight, so we're going to call that down weight. And then its value is minimum time to state for five seconds. 
I'll tell you about that in a second. We're going to turn it on as well and set this to negative 60. There you go. Now we do the next one. This one is called up. We're going to do minimum time in state zero. Value will be one. And then instead of going down, we're going to go up. So we'll put a positive 60 in there. The last state is our up weight. So let's rename that. Up weight. We'll turn the value on. We're going to set this to five. Value two will also be positive 60. Okay, the five in this minimum time in state means it's going to stay in that state machine for five seconds. What this will do is give our players the opportunity to get into the elevator after they hit the button. All right, so our gizmo is moving. Woohoo! That's because it's going through each of the states. So now what we need to do is use the buttons to tell it to not move until it's hit. And the way we do that is wire them all through that OR chip so if any one of the buttons are hit, it'll trigger it. So grab your pen, pull up your wire, and we're going to use the red pin on each of the buttons and wire it into the OR chip on the left. There you go, each button is wired into the OR chip. Now we're going to take the red pin of the OR chip and wire it into the transitions on the state machine to stop it from moving. Okay, with that done, you can see the piston's not going to move until we hit a button. Let's try that out really quick. When I push this, it's going to wait. It's going to go into the down wait which gives me time to get into the elevator. And then after five seconds, it'll move up and there it goes. It's gonna stay in the up position until I hit a button to make it move again. Okay, now's the fun part. We're gonna wire the elevator carriage to the piston and we're gonna wire a button so it moves up and down with the elevator. Let's do that now. Take out your maker pen. Again, use your wire tool and wire from the elevator to the axle of the button. Next thing we're going to do is move one of these buttons inside. So we'll take the move tool on our pen and pick any one of these. Okay, a cool trick since this is already on the gizmo uh, and we want to get rid of that gizmo because we don't need it. If you wire the button to another gizmo, it'll automatically unwire that. So let's do that now. And you can see it automatically unwired it. So if we delete this, look at gizmo. The button will stay where it's at. Okay, now that we have this button in the elevator, we need to move the other two buttons outside the elevator doors, one here and one upstairs. The tricky part though is when you're moving buttons, sometimes they click, so we want to turn off gizmos. Here's how to do that. Open your palette, turn off gizmos. Now we can move those buttons safely. So we'll take our move tool and we'll grab one of these. Put it here, and then the other one we'll take upstairs. Okay, all set. Next thing we need to do is turn those gizmos back on and then we can test it out. So remember how to do that. Take your pen out, open your palette, and turn gizmos on. And now it'll work. Let's go have a ride. There we go, it worked. All right, that's it for the elevator tutorial. You learned how to make the gizmo go up and down by using the state machines. You also learned how to use the buttons and pass them through the OR chip, which makes it so they can hit a button on any floor to go up and down. All right, come check out the elevator tutorial room and see how this works. You'll also be able to see a more advanced elevator where there's doors on each floor and it works for three or more floors. 